the fire, gather friends and family. Have a bite to eat and some Christmas sweets. Chilling out and watch TV. Wrapping up the gifts with my fingertips. Making up some fancy rhymes. So fancy. Just got something fun for my special one. But my love don't cost a dime. Waiting for Santa to come. He'll be knocking on. Hello my friends, it is Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be decorating our main Christmas tree in our living room and wanted to bring you along. I have everything cleared out of our room already in preparation for the tree. I also have the fireplace on because I am freezing. I'm sure once I get to work, it will go off. But it's going in this corner again. This is where it always goes. I love having it by the window and it's one of the first things you see when you walk in our front door. So I'm going to get started, light a candle, put on some Christmas music and start hauling up this tree. <laughs> This tree is very large and heavy, so I decided to carry it up in parts rather than try to attempt to carry the entire bag upstairs by myself. So there's a little helpful tip if you are decorating the tree by yourself. But this is a very traditional Christmas tree. We also have a couple of flocked ones as well in our home, but there's just something about a traditional green tree that I love around Christmas time. But this one is from King of Christmas. This is the nine foot blue spruce Tribeca pre-lit tree and we got it last year. We decorated it with a lot of family ornaments as well as some of the red and white and silver that you will see me using later in the video as well. But this year I decided to mix things up and all of the family ornaments are going downstairs. These gloves are wonderful. They actually came with the tree and they work out so well when you are fluffing out your tree. They not only protect your arms, but your clothes as well. But the secret to having a full looking tree is taking a significant amount of time and just going branch by branch and fluffing them out. I will usually grab two at a time and pull them in separate directions. But I will also say that I like to dedicate a full day to decorating the Christmas tree. That way I can not only take my time fluffing out all the branches, but really just enjoy the process of seeing the tree transform into a beautiful Christmas tree that will set the stage for the rest of the decor in the room. have the tree all fluffed up. There's a few spots that maybe could use a little bit more, but for the most part, I think it's okay. I think once we add decorations, it will fill in nicely. I went down to the North Pole, which is my Christmas room full of Christmas decor, and brought up my bin from last year with all the decor that we used, and then all the new pieces that I'm thinking we will use, and we're just going to start decorating the tree and see if we like it, and we'll go from there. I am surrounded by Christmas decor on all sides, but we have picks and ribbon and ornaments. And then I have this mesh and I pulled it out because I thought I was going to use it, but I'm just not feeling it. After I looked at it, I put some in the tree. I'm like, uh, I don't think this is the year. And some of it's even discolored from last year. So I don't know, maybe we'll use it in a different tree. Maybe we'll just tuck it aside for next year. I'm not quite sure, but not using that, I don't think. 
but I do have ribbon. This was from Walmart last year. It's wired, but it's really soft, and I do plan to use that. Have all kinds of picks from Hobby Lobby. These are like my go-tos for all of our trees. I love these little flocked branches. The sparkly ones, those are beautiful at night. And then a few like different types of red ones, these pine cones. These ones actually came from Hobby, or no, not Hobby Lobby, Pier One. And they're quite substantial. I mean, they're pretty big. I've had those for a couple of years. And then I pulled out all, see I'm just going in a circle around me, all of the ornaments that I will start with and then I can go downstairs and grab some more. But I did find another pack of those cable knit ones from Hobby Lobby, so I was happy about that. We have those fun little Sherpa. I grabbed a few snowflakes. Those came from Kirkland's a couple of years ago. These are Walmart ones that I've used on the tree for years. Silver Hobby Lobby. These are those hearth and hand ones I just picked up. They're so pretty. Walmart had those out the other day when I was there. I just thought they were really cool. They have like that marled look to them. I don't know, I just thought they were cool. Silver pine cones, like glitter. And the ones I just shared with you from Home Goods. And then we have this garland from Target, hearth in hand. I have five boxes. I only opened one just to make sure I love it before I open the rest of them up. When I decorate the tree, I like to start out with the ribbon. Now I'm using the same ribbon as last year and so mine is already cut, but I would say I cut the ribbon in about three to four foot lengths and just kind of randomly space it throughout the tree. I almost wish I had maybe one or two more rolls of this, but unfortunately they don't make it anymore. I'm hoping maybe next year we'll add something along with it, but I don't really have any sort of magical trick or pattern that I follow. I basically just look for gaps in the tree and tuck it in from there. I've seen some beautiful trees where the ribbon is really highlighted and kind of sticking out from the tree, but I prefer mine to be more, not inside the tree, but almost tucked in a little bit so my ornaments can really be the star of the show. And I think I'm like that because I'm not really good at adding ribbon to the trees. I've only done it now for maybe two years, so I'm still learning how to add it, but at the end of the day, it's really just what your personal preference is. So I added one of the beaded garlands and decided that I did like it. So I'm going to add the rest of them to the tree. Now the hard part is really just getting them to drape properly like they show in the pictures. I spent probably a little bit too much time on spacing them and trying to make sure it was draped through. But I do like it. I love the just different texture that it brings to the tree.
my favorite part of decorating the tree has to be adding in all of the different picks. This is when the tree starts coming together, I feel like. But a lot of the ones that I shared with you, of course, come from Hobby Lobby. My favorite ones are the ones I'm adding right now. They're silver and they are glittery and they just really sparkle at night. I'm honestly, I'm not a glitter or glam type of decorator, but during the Christmas season, I just love these. I like the garland, I like the ribbon. I'm not sure what I think of my pick choices. I feel like I just need to add some ornaments to really see it all come together. So I'm going to stop with the picks and try some ornaments. So we have this green traditional Christmas tree as well as two flocked ones in our home. And it's really because I could not decide which style of tree I like more. I feel like they both have pros and cons. For this particular tree, I like to really just cover it with ornaments, so lots of decor. But on the flocked ones, I feel like I go maybe just a little bit more minimal because they are just beautiful on their own. But you'll have to let me know what type of tree you are decorating this year. Do you have both or do you prefer that traditional green tree or the flocked ones? We do have plans as a family to decorate our Christmas tree in our family room together with all of our more family specific or the ornaments with all of the memories and we cannot wait and honestly that's my favorite Christmas tree to decorate. The kids have so much fun and we do too. If you are new to my channel and this is the first video you happen to be watching of mine, I just want to say welcome. I am so glad you are here joining me. This is my most favorite time of year to share videos with you and I am not even joking. We go all out for Christmas and I love to share it here on my channel. So if you love anything with home decorating or preparing for the holidays, make sure you are subscribed. I have so many more decorating videos to come. I've only shared one decorate with me so far, which was our master bedroom. And I love how that turned out and can't wait to get going on the rest of our house. But we do have four kids who are nine and under and they're really just at a fun age where they get so excited for Christmas and it's just a blessing to see Christmas through their eyes. It's really just magical and I know I will treasure these days for many years to come. From this Christmas
glittery picks they aren't necessarily beautiful during the day but at night when the lamps are on and the tree is lit that's when the real beauty happens with these ornaments <laughs> It's Christmas, a winter wonderland, a snowball in each hand. Take me away, Christmas Day. There's joy in the air, families near. We give thanks for this past year. Nothing compares to the love that we share Oh, what a bliss A green red delight With glimmering silver wine You dazzle us all from big to small Warm laughter and white smiles my presents stacked in piles Take me away Christmas Day Just a few ornaments left and the twins are waking up from their nap and they really want to help me so I'm going to let them add these little ornaments and then I actually need to go down to my North Pole and find a few more white. I'd love to add just a little bit more white. It's really hard though to capture this tree on camera. It just does not do it justice. Can you space them out so they aren't right next to each like other? This, Mama? Sure. Like so they fall apart. Okay, get the other one. Yep. Try to get some up high. Okay, I'm gonna use them on this one because I'm Ooh, good do, one, Ethan. Maybe one maybe high Okay, go ahead. Put it up high. Ooh, be careful. Good job, Ethan. Ooh, Andrew, nice. We pulled these little furry balls that go on my other tree, and Andrew hung them all nice in a line. Where's that one? Should we move? Oh. No. No, not like that. Oh, good thing that's Ow. plastic. I wish I had more of these little fur balls. They just add the coolest texture ever to the tree. And same thing with these snowflakes. I wish I had more of these. Both of them are from Kirkland's. I may check their website, see if they have them anymore. I don't think I've seen them though. I need to go check my stash, dig through a few more bits, see if there's anything else. And I also want to see what it looks like at night before we add anything else because I don't want things to start getting lost behind all kinds of ornaments. But I'm liking the direction we're going. Some of you might remember this tree skirt from last year, but it's from Walmart and Ethan who loves red. He's actually obsessed with red. Picked this out and he was super proud that I was putting it under the tree.
after looking at Instagram, I decided I do want to add a few more ornaments. And so I grabbed these out of my stash. I'm just going to set that here. But I want to do more. And so I had these already. They're from Hobby Lobby. I usually use them on my other tree, but I think I like them on this one a little bit better. So I'm going to pull a few more of these out and add them to the tree in some of these open spots. I think I'm going to try these black picks from Hobby Lobby. We did. All the joy it brings to be with you. I grabbed these they're like magnolia leaves. They were from Kirkland's a few years ago. They're stems. I've used them on my flock tree. This is why it's kind of covered in flocked stuff right now, but I think I want to add these, go a little bit more red now, and I might, since they're kind of bold, have them stick out quite a bit. I don't have very many of them. I maybe have, oh goodness, six of them total. So I'm going to have them maybe stick out a little bit as more of a statement. I don't know. We're going to see how that looks. These ornaments were from Kirkland's. They are battery operated, however, the batteries are dead and I'm too cheap to replace them because they're those small ones, but they're still really pretty. I think I might add these in for just a different shape of an ornament. Losing daylight, but here's what it looks like during the day. We added a few more as well as the topper, which I will show you. It was just too high. I could not get my camera up there alone to show you what I was doing, but I will bring you up there. But we did go ahead and add a couple of buffalo check ornaments that were also in my stash. I think these ones came from Kirkland's, but it also could have been Hobby Lobby. And then where are the other ones? We added a few of these ones that are from Hobby Lobby. But I have pillows that I use in the living room that have a pop of that, so I felt pretty good about adding those. I did have to zip tie on that new star. Even though it has a clip, I still did not feel like it was very secure. So I did zip tie the star from Target up there. And then I added a few of these silvery picks kind of coming out or spraying out from Hobby Lobby. And then these bell ones, I did one on each side. I did grab a couple of those from Kirkland's. I did trim them down just a little bit. They were just a tad bit too whimsical for my style, but love how the top came out. Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, thy leaves are so unchanging. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, thy leaves are so unchanging. Not only green when summer's here, but also when All right, my friends, that's going to be it for today's Christmas tree decorate with me. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, if you did, hit that thumbs up button. So much more decorating ahead. We'll be styling the mantle soon, as well as just the rest of our home. We have a lot of decorating to go, so just make sure you're subscribed. Stick around, but thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.